okay friends uh, now i'm going to talk, uh, talk about a very very important uh, topic about uh, the interaction between different uh, species or uh, population it is called the comp competitive exclusion principle and this principle is given by a russian ecologist called uh, the goss or uh, what what he uh, did uh, what, what, uh, what, let's first talk about the um, basic view of competitive exclusion principle now what it suggests that very uh, uh, there is a if there is a very heavy competition that competition between two different species and it will lead to uh, the dismissal of one species it lead to uh, the extinction of one species and only one species can exist and very simplified version complete competition cannot be existed because if there is a huge amount of competition if there is a high amount of competition between two species one of that species definitely will rule and another species will be ex uh, extinct from that uh, environmental situation okay so that is the basic concept now if we uh, think about in this picture like look in this picture we have two different species species a and species d now those species are sharing this common habitat that means they are having the same niche they are having the same function a functional role so they are having the same niche and what happens in this case uh, this species uh, most of the part this is occupied by both of the species so if there is a heavy competition present between the species and then what happens one of the species is going to win that fight another one of the species are going to die and the species which which one, uh, one uh, is winning that fight can uh, have the chance for transferring their genetic uh, elements to their next generation and that's how the evolution of that species will go on so this is not a concept this is a not a new concept this is a very old concept of uh, struggle for existence and as a result of natural selection about this okay so here uh, two two different types of scenarios can be possible uh, we'll we'll come back to these two different types of scenarios but first talk about the experiment which was conducted by gauze uh, to first determine what is competitive exclusion he started to ta to uh, experiment to between uh, two paramecium uh, one is the paramecium aurelia another one, another one is the paramecium cordata so uh, he grew all this uh, so those two types of paramecium uh, they they uh, usually uh, learn to live on to same type of environmental conditions they are having the same uh, nutrient need and all these things so they uh, so he put these two different types of paramecium together what happens he he, he uh, observed that this paramecium cordata in very first place start to grow rapidly and it su suppress the growth of this paramecium aurelia but right after some time what happens this aurelia growth just uh, over uh, over take uh, the growth of paramecium cordatum and it starts to grow rapidly now this growth pattern of paramecium aurelia is different than the growth pattern uh, pattern of this cordatum now he called this growth pattern a logistic growth pattern or uh, or we what we can say uh, it is a uh, growth pattern governed by a carrying capacity now what do we mean by this carrying capacity so carrying capacity means uh, it is denoted with k now carrying capacity means a capacity of that habitat or of the environmental situation to to hail uh, the amount of uh, 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 or the number of individuals into a particular environment so in this case suppose uh, the an environmental situation has having the carrying capacity of 1000 paramecians in that environment so when uh, the paramecium population reaches the 1000 number what happens uh, uh, not more than this 1000 paramecium can can uh, can be presented in that particular area so more, uh, more if if uh, right after the thousand uh, member is reached uh, more paramecium will born and more will die to maintain the balance between this thousand paramecium so it is called the carrying capacity so carrying capacity is maintained constant uh, new individuals are born and old individuals are getting died but this carrying capacity is meeting constant in this kind of logistic growth curve it is uh, must look like the s or sigmoidal uh, curve okay uh, this kind of um, exclusion between two different uh, uh, two different uh, species, or what we can say, the competition between two different species, can be seen not only in paramecium but also uh, in seen uh, in different uh, Saccharomyces uh, uh, species like Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Saccharomyces kefi. Uh, he also conducted experiment with the Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Saccharomyces kefi. Okay, now uh, uh, and and this kind of uh, thing also can be found in Darwin's finches and also um, different animals in planet. Okay, now let us talk about two different conditions. So one situation is that one uh, species will win. Suppose in this case D will win and A will uh, get removed from the situation. So in in th this case one will stay, another one will lose the condition. 
if if they need to present in the same condition if they changes uh, their food habit if they changes uh, many different things then uh, the competition will be uh, getting down and as a result of that they can survive okay and the second scenario is that two species is are coexisting into this place and uh, why and how they are able to coexist into a particular place due to their behavioral change so suppose in this case species a and species uh, e are there species a as a higher niche area as you can see it is more generalist so it can uh, be there it can be here 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 so it's are having a huge niche or huge habitat region now in other case species e has a similar niche it is more specialist or specialist higher uh, do tend to avoid this competition so that's why this this uh, in this case like species E and A can tend to avoid the competition because species A can uh, not only actually sub sacrifice but as it is having a huge area of, as a niche uh, they can be presented okay but if two different species are having exactly same amount of niche and same a uh, desire for their growth they cannot uh, present uh, into a particular environment without any kind of exclusion okay that's the exclusion uh, competitive exclusion principle now one kind of thing competitive exclusion can be done like this competitive ability of these two different uh, rat as you can see in this case so if uh, one is a superior one another one is the inferior one superior one wins and start to grow and inferior one uh, start to die in other case in coexistence what happens in coexistence uh, again uh, uh, due to this competitive ability some of them uh, are managed to survive because of this kind of small niche area or behavioral change so that this kind of thing help them for the coexistence purposes okay so this is all about uh, the competitive exclusion remember competed uh, complete competition is not present complete complete com competition cannot be found in inside an environment and one must win one must lose and that's all about uh, it